greetings and best wishes for a hell and with free game. Well, the ceremony. Thank you, D.A. On Friday and then on Wednesday. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Boss. Big Dog is out there with Dunn. Then there's Baddest One. And it's Junior in at the two spot. And for the Wolverines, they've got Barber. Hardaway is out there with Hammonds. Then there's Buckets. And it's Williams at the four. Now here's Randolph. Pass to Hardaway. Down low. Here's Barber. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. But we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement, do you think, a, a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really can, can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. And the Wolverines with possession. To the inside. Here's Hardaway. Off with the layup. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Here's Hammonds. And the pass to Williams. Feeds to Randolph. It's deflected. Here's Baddest one. Passes to Junior. From 17 feet out. Rebound by Hammonds. And the Wolverines with possession. Really a, a disappointing effort. That, that game could have and should have been closer than it was. Listen, I don't fault the effort. That was there all night. It was the quality of play that was lacking. There was not a ton of cohesion. They've got to figure it out. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Here's Big Dog to the left wing, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. The Wolverines have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. To the paint, here's Barber. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. That one goes in. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Here's Hammonds. They double-team Randolph. Barber passes to Williams. And, and that's just terrific positioning on his part to get that board. I mean, he might not have the size, but his basketball IQ and feel is off the charts. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. 130 left here in the first quarter. And it's Junior missing. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Boss. Done right side. Inside. Big dog, the pass to Boss. It's three pointers off the mark. The Wolverines leading by six. To the inside, Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Here's Boss. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. 
50 seconds left in the first. Here's Hammonds. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Gone two of six from the field. Here's Boss. That shot off. Now the Wolverines take it the other way. That's tipped. Here's the break. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Junior. They get it back. Power down with both hands. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. And the foul called on Junior. That's his first foul. So it's the Wolverines now. Outside Hardaway. Fires for three. That one doesn't go. Here's Dunn. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so the first quarter is in the books. Wolverines lead by six. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. just joining us we've played through one quarter in this one and taking a look at the Wolverines performance here guys what have they been doing or not doing you, you got to credit their defense communicating rotating making plays on the ball yeah I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong and they have they've taken the early lead here in a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball and so in the game for the Wolverines Livingston is out there with Clutch. Then it's Cassell. Then there's Speedy. And it's Hammonds in at the point. Now, here's Dunn. Defense is right there. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. The Wolverines shooting their first free throws of the game. In talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. The mayor is checked in for Hammonds. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Offensive rebound, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. Great teamwork, punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. He tries for three. Hilliard, no good. Gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. Here's Junior. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Junior's got four points this quarter. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. So the wing on the left. Goes up the baseline. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. 
Don attacking. Got a hand on it. Here's McCall. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Here's Meyer. It's deflected. And they're pushing it up. Here's the mayor. Done covering. And he gets the bucket. The mayor's got the lead up to 12 now for the Wolverines. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. There's 117 left here in the second. Here's Boss. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one drops. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Wolverines leading by 11. Oh, that's blocked. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Here's the mayor. Pass to Livingston. Here's McCall. And it's blocked. But they recover it. Cassell gets the bucket. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. To the middle. Oh, and the dunk by Dunn. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. The Wolverines have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Pass to Livingston to the paint. There's Hilliard. And he finishes nicely on the way. Hilliard's got six. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in. Nicely done. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Boss passes to Meyer. Here's Big Dog. He kicks it to Junior. The pass to Boss. Here's Junior. And the shot goes down. He's got eight. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And the foul called on Junior. That'll be his second foul of the game. Just four seconds left now here in the second. Hardaway for three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the home team. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you... Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of best. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jets. For the Wolverines. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. On offense, they've been very efficient. Taking good shots and hitting them. That's very important. The confidence has to be through the roof heading into the second half. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? And that'll about do it as we... Played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Junior really making a difference here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Checking out the group now for Ryan Saunders to start the second half. Big Dog is out there with Pattis one. Then there's Boss. Then there's Dunn. 
and it's Junior in at the shooting guard. Here's Meyer, and that one is good. Mattis one's got his first bucket of the night. Now the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You, you need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well. To when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Greg, you played against uh, some terrific players, including the the late great Kobe Bryant. I'd love to hear your thoughts on on playing against Kobe. I mean, his passing is still tough. I'm sure for many to deal with because he was just taken from us at such a young age. Uh, but this guy was a ferocious competitor and someone who showed us in life and in tragedy. Uh, that you need to make the most of every moment that we have here. You know, I just appreciate it to really the fans getting to know Kobe once his career was over because I think he was able to let his guard down a little bit and show us a lighter side, a more compassionate side. That is an excellent point. You gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that severe punishment right there. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. And there's the call on Boss. That is his first foul of the game. The Wolverines making a switch here. Knights checked in. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. The league's long-distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. Take a look at Big Dog. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent, precision, and, and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball. Gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Done with it. Hardaway picks him up, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. Free throw drops in for Dunn. Clutch, he's checked in for buckets. That one is no good. The Wolverines leading by four. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Hilliard, no good. Being at a decent 44% clip here. Fast break, here come the Wolverines. Pull up Jay. Off the left rim and out. Here's baddest one. Passes it to Boss. Shoots. Nails the baby hook. Boss has got 11 points. They are just killing them on the interior. The Wolverines have gone two to seven from the field in the third. That leaves room for improvements here. Pass to Hardaway. Trying to get something going. It's the three-point bomb. Hardaway has got his second bucket of the night. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr. is known as a scorer. Knocks down the long-distance look right there. Here's Big Dog. A second-chance effort. And with that, the Wolverine lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Meyer. 
every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Hammonds passes the ball. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. The Wolverines making a switch here. McCaw has checked in. The Wolverines shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Gone six of nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Junior the pass to Big Dog. And it's blocked. And they'll keep possession. And so Knight will bring it up for the Wolverines. They've held a 12 point lead early. Hilliard, no good being an outstanding 55% from the field since the half. You know, their execution has been on point. Junior, good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. There's Big Dog, and he jams it with authority. Those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Wolverines up by four. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. You love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. They've got McCall. Clutch out there with Williams. Then it's Hammond. And it's Glover in at the five, roaming the paint. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. 47% from the four, getting it done. Here's Hammond. to Glover. Drops in the layup for two. P's got his first bucket in this one. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And they pick up two. And it's eight points for Clutch. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Here's Hammonds. Now the pass to Glover. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on baddest one. That's his third foul of the game. Buckets. He's checked in for clutch. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Hammonds. Buries it down low. And the Wolverines lead by four. And challenging the bigger defender coming through in the biggest moment was riding on that possession you get the sense he relishes the chance it's been like this all night for both teams the offenses having their way and it is a major disadvantage down the stretch if you can't guard this may just come down to who has the ball last and that one falls for Williams a different look now for the Wolverine Levingson's checked in for P, and Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for McCall. Gone a perfect 4-4 four four to start the final quarter. Can't ask for anything more than that. And the shot goes in. And that's now 11 points for Little General. Big time basket there on the inside. I mean, he had to get that one up and over the big guy. Has the ability 
to score against size, and those were crucial. Kicks it to Junior. Pass to Boss. Down low, here's Meyer. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Yeah, good job to take it right at him. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. He can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. The Wolverines have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Here's Hardaway. Here's Williams. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. All oh, the officials are all over that one. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. The Wolverines making a switch here. Arbor's checked in. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, in a game this tight, you can't overlook how important those free throws could be. Boss gets the bucket. Well, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. Doing it pretty well, close to 50%. Now here is Hardaway. He's guarded closely. 20 feet out. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. And the Wolverines lead by four. Well, how about the competitive nature of Tim Hardaway Jr.? Important spot, no problem. Here's Boss. It counts. And the foul. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Yeah, just beautiful setup. They found the size mismatch inside, delivered when they really needed it. Yeah, terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. And 57% in this fourth quarter. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. It's stolen. And here we go. to take the lead and it's junior missing they've been a little too casual with the ball out there yeah but you can't force that square peg into the round hole oftentimes you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that here's done whistle blows basket is good so a chance here for a three-point play and you can't get a bigger bucket than that i'll tell you it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation you love guys who relish the moment i'm called here the wolverines decide to talk it over they trail by two there's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one guys your thoughts and looking at how much time they have, I think it's likely we'll see them try to get a good look and score quickly. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Boss. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, guys, I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team. This is a close game, as you know, and he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move right now. Kevin? Done with it. Hardaway picks him up. Bobbed up there for Dunn. Taken away by Williams. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. I'll tell you, they better come up with some points on every possession from now on. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second-chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Count it! They can't really afford to foul here. Time called here. The Wolverines decide to talk it over. They're down by two. 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. Twelve seconds left to play here in the fourth. In the corner, Randolph with it. Launches it. But he stays with it. Got it! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. 
Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. the Wolverines off the tip and always a good ride in these post regulation battles this overtime now looking to be an exciting one all fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here brought to us by Gatorade let's check out who's on the floor and so in the game for the Wolverines Hammonds is out there with Hardaway then it's Williams then it's the magician and it's Randolph in at the three big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. And there's the feed to Williams. And he comes up with the deuce. Williams has got the game tied up here for the Wolverine. And that bucket ignites the crowd. And the emotions of these fans right now boiling over after that shot. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. By the way, that's a two-pointer. They grabbed their own miss. Well, not sure who was responsible for the blockout, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. Pass to Junior. 16 feet away. Randolph grabs the board. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. That's tipped. Pass to Junior. That a very easy basket with that setup. Time called here. The Wolverines decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. There's 39 seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. Let's it up off the inbound. Good. A huge shot to tie it up. Clutch basket, even with him being on the short end of the stick, size well. And I'm talking just a little bit. He was giving up a lot of size there, but with a basket being so important to them, he didn't let it throw him off. Now Hardaway, and overtime has come down to this. They need at least two points, or you can kiss this baby good night. Time called here. The Wolverines decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. There's 25 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. Here's Hardaway, and Dunn over to help. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And it's Barber missing. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Really poor pass there, guys. And the D did a great job capitalizing off the mistake. And even though he lacks the size of some of the other bigs, that extra effort has allowed him to do some serious work here on the board. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Fires the three, misses. And so the road team gets the W in this one. 
They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.